Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm T and T Dine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, uh, set the timer. Yeah, set the timer. Totally forgot. You threw me off with your throw off. <laughs> you have okay. to go to the YouTube channel. And look yeah, you got to watch this one live. All right, oh, uh, so Jonas. Yes, sir. Are you familiar with the term happy wife, happy life? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard that before. Can you explain, since you've, you're you the only person that's been married, can you explain to me in what In the that world? Means? I'm the only person? Or in this room? In the room, Jonas. Okay. <laughs> uh... The adage, I mean, I mean, it really goes both ways, I guess, depending on what it is. But yeah. but the adage is that if if your if your wife is happy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then there's less chaos in your life. Yes. So, I mean, it's really like but it kind of kind of goes with any partner. If you if your partner is happy, then there's less chaos for you. Okay. But I guess that particular statement means Keep your wife happy, and you will be more happier in return. Because yeah, but there's no there's no idiom that says happy husband, happy life. You're not wrong. Yeah, so you know. I mean, that's part of the patriarchy, I guess. There's got to be some truth to it. My my, I guess my question is like, is that a is that a sign of toxic femininity? I uh, kind of feel like it is. It it, it kind of sets the precedent, at least. Just, just hear me out. It kind of sets the precedent of if I were to do anything to irritate a, a young lady, then that means is that I will receive detriment in my life. You know? Uh, oh, I see. Yeah. I, okay. I see. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess that statement particularly, if 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 someone says that to me, what 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 the meaning behind it is is put your wife's happiness ahead of yours because if your wife isn't happy. Okay. Then in turn you're not going to be happy because there's going to be there's going to be a yeah. some sort of issue. Yeah. Now this is leading up to something, but I, I just think of like uh, recent recent events that happened to me, very very minor. But I mispronounced somebody's name, and they got angry with me, and I did it again, and then they got angry with me to the point of like. You know, it wasn't like detrimental to the relationship, but it was like I thought of myself if if I did this to a guy, if I had called a guy uh, Derek and his name was Eric on accident, it would have been like, no, nah, I'm Eric. I'm mean, like, okay, my fault. <laughs> you know, and um, it just would it just would have kept going, but because it happened with a woman, it just went it elevated to the next level. And I think of like other events with like you know, it's like I've asked friends if they want to go to a gentleman's club with me, and they'll be like, are you trying to get us both killed? I'm like. What do you mean? Get you both killed? You know, it's like it's not like you're going there to do anything illicit. You're going to look with your eyes and, and have right, drinks right. with your friends. Well, and, I mean, I, I think know. I think what it is, I think it isn't uh, so much like a female toxicity. It's a person to person. It is. It's relationship toxicity, and okay. uh, and it can be, and I mean, monogamy toxicity. Yeah, too, yeah. In that way. I mean, that, that's more insecure. It's insecurity more yeah. than anything else. Now, whether that insecurity is warranted because you have a habitual cheater as, as, a, as a partner, yeah. that's one thing. Or you've been cheated on multiple times in the past, that's another thing. But either way, that's still insecurity is what that I is. I think. Because there's nothing illicit or detrimental right. to your relationship for a person going out with his friends, no matter where they go. Right, right, absolutely. I think what, what the biggest problem is, is people having post pre-relationship trauma that they project on their current partner. Yeah. Like because I've had partners that that have been mistreated or been cheated on or whatever yeah. and that gets projected on me and I and I I don't cheat. I, I'm yeah. not I've never been a cheater. Yeah. But but lo but oh my god like is, is, does that get projected onto me? Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and I feel like every man has had that happen to him. Now, now this is leading up to something. Um, it just kind of takes into account of the upper hand that 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 kind of women have over the relationship, at least in this sense of what could cause you to not want to sleep with a girl. What is something that a girl could do that could cause you to not want to sleep with her? Me? Yeah. Can you oh, think I'm of, picky. Think, yeah. of, think of three things, and give me your top three things. Uh, she's mean to her wait staff. She's mean um, to her mom. Let's see. Just, I mean, having a bad personality in general will turn okay. me off. Like okay. you could be like, like, like whoever 
the hottest woman in the world is. That's subjective, obviously. Okay. Okay. To whoever, like, I don't even know she exists. She walks in and I'm like, oh my God, you're the hottest woman in the world. Yeah. And then you open your mouth and start talking and your personality is trash. Yeah. I mean, I probably could still get to it, but it's I'm going to think twice. Yeah. Like, a bad personality for sure. Okay. For me, it is. it would be just like, I don't know, uh, either feigning to be stupid or actually being stupid. Like, I, I don't know, like a certain level of intelligence yeah, is required Yeah, me too. Me. me too. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I can't. Same, but, same thing. Whether you're a trash personality or you're just dumb and I can't talk to you, like, yeah. like I'm not primarily just like, hot lady must penetrate. That That's not <laughs> how I roll. Well, Twitter was all ablaze, Jonas. This happened a few weeks ago. Okay. And they came up with this thing called the Ick List. Okay? Ick List? The Ick List. Okay. And this is a list of all the things a man can do that would make a woman not want to sleep with oh, him. Oh, so like the incels handbook. And now, but in reverse, because I don't know. What's a woman incel? A bra sale? Oh, wait, no. It's, what, it's a list of what men uh, say women can, can do? What men do that will make a woman not want to sleep with him. I'm oh, just going to read off a couple of these. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> There's a bunch, though. Oh, and, and some of them are way better than others. Okay. All right. Mean to people for no reason. Okay. That's, that's pretty Valid. good. Uh, rude for no reason. Valid. Unfriendly. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Poor grammar. Oh, dude. That kind of irks me a little bit. Um, if a man giggles, you don't want to sleep with him. Uh, okay. Uh, if he bends at the waist, bends over at the waist. Oh, instead of stooping down to pick it up? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, makes the gym their biggest priority. Okay. Doesn't like any sport. You don't want to sleep Which is with weird them. because I've dated lots of women who couldn't care less about any sports at all, and they don't like <laughs> that. That, that <laughs> Anyways. If he posts if he posts inspirational quotes on Instagram oh, or Twitter. God. <laughs> okay. So he's in tune with his emotions. Get the F out of here. <laughs> if he's a picky eater. Okay. If he wears white jeans. White jeans. Yeah, you oh. can't sleep with a man if he Bro, wears white jeans. Bro, I've never jeans. wore white pants in my life. Doesn't drink water. Mm-hmm. If he has a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> he can't sleep with that guy, so we're, yeah. both, we're both done. I've never had sex. If he chews loudly. Okay. Always horny. Oh, isn't that every guy? No, it isn't. Yeah. But If he knows too much about hair. Okay. If he has a bad sense of humor. Okay. If he owns an iPad. Weird. You can't jump this. Because, like, I have a, a, a Samsung tablet, but Ooh. if I had an iPad, would that be? <laughs> would that, I don't know. I, yeah, would I, I be? I put an asterisk to that one, Jonas. All right, All right, right. <laughs> Reads books about how to get rich. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 my lord oh god if he listens to future I, I, just, Listen. but look there's if he has a squeaky voice like russ there's so many there's so many different ones and the women were getting crazy with him like if he eats oatmeal in, in the morning and if he puts it's just all kinds of weird stuff but to a certain extent man i i kind of feel like yeah like the list yeah. of things that a guy could come up with we sat here for a couple minutes it yeah, was, but ours were more general, like, if you're dumb, like, or act yeah, dumb, or, like, it, you're a bad personality. Point. Oh, gotcha. It's like, if you even told guys to come up with a list like this, I feel like we would have trouble. Yeah, because most feel, of my stuff is basically, like... Yeah, personality, you know, she has to be nice. It's, yeah, like, I, I would never be like, oh, you wear red pants, like, F, I'm not going to touch you. <laughs> I will, okay, dude, I will, uh, I will be honest, though, like... What's that? Uh... Sometimes, uh, like hairstyle is a big difference. Like, is oh a big yeah, thing for I know me. you. Like, I know you don't like short hair. Like, well, because here's the thing, and it's and actually, maybe I'll maybe we'll do continue this into the next episode because this is a similar topic but different, and I'll, I won't get into it right now. Uh, but you know, like I've wondered, like you know, sometimes like I'll see a girl and be like, oh, she's cute, but I don't like her hair or whatever. And then I'm like, so if she had long hair, would I have been like, oh, that chick's hot, I want to date her. And then I then I start thinking like if I'm dating a girl with long hair and, and she cuts all of her hair off, am I gonna not be attracted to her anymore? Like, am I <laughs> like, like you know what I mean? Like, is it is it that big of a difference? Like, it, 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 that's a question you gotta ask yourself. Is it really that big of a difference between like 
a girl having short hair and long hair or even like hair color. Right, right, exactly. Like I'm 100% more attracted to like dark hairstyles right. uh, long, but I, I like short too. All right, well, we'll continue this conversation because this ties right into what I was going to talk about. But that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and uh, tomorrow we'll get a kind of a similar flavor, but we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.